Hey, back in the days, a lot of men would approach women all the time. You know, you go out, you look nice, you get approached by different dudes. These days, men don't approach women that much anymore because these men realize that, especially the ones that you want to approach you, they're not approaching much women because the ones that you want to approach you, the women are now approaching them. And now they have access to the internet, social media, where if he looks like he's taking care of business, if he looks like he is stable, financially, emotionally, if he looks pretty decent, you don't have to approach a woman anymore because that's what a lot of women want. That's what most women want. A man who's financially stable, a man who's physically attractive, a man who has common sense, a man who's taking care of his business, everybody wants that man. So that man in, that man becomes a very high commodity. Everybody wants him. So that man ain't out there approaching women anymore. The man ain't out there trying you. Some of you all are waiting. Some of you all are still waiting for the man to approach you. You waiting. And I listen, I listen. Because the old school told you that the men would approach you. The old school life, and again, it's not right or wrong. It's just times have changed. It's, it's changed. It's completely changed. You know, or, you know, your, your grandmothers, your grandfathers, your great grandmother told you the men. But these days, the men ain't approaching no more. The ones that's approaching you is the ones that you don't really think is quality. And maybe they are, but they're not on social media. They're not popular. They're not rich. They're not famous. And I'm telling you, a lot of you all are single still because the ones that you expect to approach you, you know, I hear a lot of women say, you know, men don't approach me. Men hardly approach me. These days, the men that you're looking for, I'm telling you, they ain't got to approach you no more. These men are being approached. Hey, listen, these women out there ain't got no... They don't wait for men to approach them. They are doing it. Because, and, and maybe they caught on. Maybe they caught on to the real deal. Men don't approach. Listen, these days, shoot, these men uh, are different. The men are different now. They're different. See, the men now, a certain caliber of men are high in demand. They are very high in demand. They are wanted. They are desired. They are admired. They are sought after. And these men, why would they approach you? Why would they try hard? Why would they chase you? Why would they try hard? Why would they? They don't. And, and it's not because, you know, don't get your feelings hurt. It's just, that's just what it is. You talking about, you know, you're not sleeping with him. Hey, good luck. And I'm not saying that you should either. You talking about you want him to pay half, I mean, all the bills. Oh, no, you're good. You talking about you want this, you want that, didn't? These days, man, listen, I'm telling you all, man, that's, I don't know if it's good or bad. It's not good or bad. It's just a reality thing. The men are being chased. And, you know, these days, the truth is people are accepting everything. People accept everything these days. I mean, especially if they want the person. The more attractive a man is, the more he can do stupid stuff in a woman's state. But, the, you know, if he's not attractive and he don't have a lot of stuff, he make one mistake and he's out. Man, listen, men these days are doing it. They don't want to chase women. They ain't approaching women. They ain't taking nothing from women. They ain't taking crap from women. They are, they are rebelling. You hear me? They're tired of women. I don't know. I'm not saying that I agree. I'm not saying I disagree. I'm just telling you what it is. Because a lot of you all like to, I don't think it's right. I think this. I, I'm not talking about it. I'm talking about men these days ain't chasing you no more. They're not trying hard. I'm just saying. So whether you're going to put up with it or not, that's on you. Whether you're going to stay single or not, that's on you. Whether you're going to accept it or not, that's on you. Whether you're going to just go to an average man who don't try hard, who don't have nothing to prove. And maybe that's your best bet. Maybe that's the best bet. These average men will do a lot for you. But you don't want a lot from the average man. You want the minimum from the high quality man. A lot of you all don't want a lot from an average man. <laughs> you want, you will take a little bit from the, that man that you think is high quality. And that's the crazy thing. Because love is love, ain't it? Love isn't love, love. It does a different, is it, is it a difference from a man 
from one man to love you this way and one man to love you the same way? I mean, a different man to love you? Two different men love you? you? You think the one of higher quality, better looking one, their love is better than the one who, who is not as rich or handsome? Love is love, man. And sometimes those ones who are not as famous or popular, they have less distractions. And they can love you with more, more attention. Listen, people, <laughs> you all don't understand, man. You all don't get it. A lot of these men are getting attention from everywhere and they are distracted. And not just men, women, people, period. The more, t a lot of times, the more attention you get is the more distracted you are. So therefore, you know, you have options. So they don't put in all their efforts. They don't try extremely hard. They don't try to keep, you know what I'm saying? But the ones who have less distraction have more focus. Is, isn't that what we learn in school? Isn't that what we do? The one with less distraction does better, does a better job. They value things differently. And for some reason, that's not what you want. You want the one who is distracted. A lot of women and a lot of men want the popular ones, the ones who always have all the attention because I think it's an ego thing. It's an ego. If you can pull that one, you feel important. You feel like you are something special. You feel like, yeah, I'm that one. I'm that chick. I'm that dude. So you're going you're gonna to put all your effort, all your emotion into something that makes you feel like you, and you, the thing is when you get them, you realize you don't really want them because it's not what it's pumped up to be. How do you all chasing after the ones with high value and high this and high that and high money and stuff? You don't realize the ones who don't have as much. And I'm not telling you, listen, this is not about settling because a lot of you all think that you are settling, but people are settling with you all too because you all think that you are so high quality and high and you all ain't. I'm just being honest. Some of you all think that I'm settling. I'm not settling. You know, somebody's settling for you. Because a lot of times, the ones that you want, it's going to settle for you. You think because I'm a good man or I'm a good woman and I'm a clean heart and nobody wants that stuff. I mean, yes, people want that. I mean, it's a bonus to have a good heart, whatever, you know, whatever that means. But are you attractive? Are you in shape? Are you financially stable? Are you goal-oriented? Do you have what you want in life? Are you happy? Are you content? Are you, do, are you at a peaceful place in your life? Do you have drama? Do you have this? The truth is a lot of people don't meet those. A lot of you all don't. I like this reflection right here. I like this. It feels, my aura is beautiful. But I'm telling you guys, man, I'm telling you. A lot of you all think that you're settling, but somebody's settling for you. And that's why you haven't met that person yet. Because the truth is, I think a lot of us don't realize that we are not it. A lot of us really believe. Somebody told us, somebody, social media have told us that, hey, I'm telling you all, man. Listen, the point is right. These dudes these days, they're not trying hard anymore. I don't know what to tell you. They're not trying hard anymore. But I think if you become, if you be authentic and remain yourself and try, stop trying so hard. I think some of you, and I ain't talking about don't put in effort. I'm talking about stop trying so hard. Because I think some of you, are, some of us get distracted because we are so focused on trying so hard to be the, the person that somebody likes and we don't like ourselves anymore. You, you know, we are trying so hard to be something for someone that we become nothing to ourselves. We are trying so hard to be something for someone and we miss that someone is looking at you with value. With love, and we don't, you know, we don't recognize that person. You need to stop trying so hard. Now, I'm just saying, man, because these brothers these days, these men, man, some these men are a high demand. I don't know, I don't know when it changed. I don't know how it changed. I don't know what time it changed. I don't know, and especially as the man get older, high the, the demands goes higher. Because now the older one likes him, the younger one likes him, the youngin likes him, everybody likes him as they get older. Now the woman, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I don't know. No, no, don't get me wrong. I think men like any, the young ones, the old ones, but I think, I don't know, man. I don't know what to tell you about. I mean, I've 
made videos before about, you know, how to attract what you want and how to, you know, if you're going to approach a man, how to do it. I don't think people take my advice. It's not hard to pull somebody, you know. But we want certain things. But you know what, though? I see lately, though, I see a lot of people getting married. Um, people on my feed and Facebook and stuff. And the truth is, the ones who talk all this trash, who, what they want and who they want, I see the, the people that they end up with. Average looking people, average people, which is a beautiful thing. That means people are waking their asses up. They're not talking about I'm settling. Because I think we are waiting until we are too old to realize this is what, this is what it is. You know, when you're young, you think that you have a whole lifetime, but then you realize the lifetime passes very quickly. And I was young too. All right, well, I'm, out. I'm in my 40s quick. I thought I was just 22 days ago. I promise you, I had a whole life to hang out and party, and now I'm 43, and I realize, why can't I keep doing this? I mean, I stopped a while ago, but I see people now getting married now on my news feed. Well, I'm jokers. They settle down and posting pictures of their spouse or their boyfriends and average-looking dudes. Nothing special about them as far as what they thought that they would, that they were getting. And I'm just being real. And that's the, that's the reality. Because the top 10, 15, 20% of men, them jokers are very specific. They want specific women. Just like how the top 20% of women, they want specific men. I'm not going to try and get one of those women who want the top 10, 20%. Man, there's so much men out there who's millionaires and billionaires and fit and this. They, those women want those men. Those women get the first picks. Listen, listen, listen. Can I tell you something that's very... Can I, tell you, can I be honest with you all? Seriously, can I be honest with you all? I know you all don't like this type of videos or this type of knowledge or information. I, don't, I know that you all don't like these type of stuff. But check this out. You see those top 10, 15, 20%? 30%? The top 10, 20%. They have the first picks. Tell me if I'm wrong. I know you are, I know you are, I know you all be believing in all these things and you are not, <laughs> we, we, I swear boy, we are so delusional. We think there's some, these top 10, 20% people get the first pick. And then the remaining goes to everybody else. Of course, these men who are in their top 10, 20%, they get the women that they want. These top women get the men that they want. Well, kind of. Well, I don't know about that one. But I know the men do. Because every woman wants that man. So he, yeah, I'm going to get that one and that one. So for you to think that you get in that top. And when I say they get to the pick, those men, when they're up, up in that level, they want the attractive, fine, they don't even care how smart you are. A lot of times. Beauty sells, man. But it's a certain type of money. A certain type of... Listen, I'm not trying to disrespect nobody. but Because I know you all take things personal all the time. I be getting so much... And we're not listening to the logic. I'm telling you what, about men. Oh my God. Men are, like, men are not like this. My brother. Listen, I'm talking about this. There's going to always be exceptions. 